Hello everybody, welcome to Lolsus 2U. I don't really upload videos like this on the second channel, but I just thought I would just this once. Um, today I'm going to be showing you all how I make pictures for my Sparta Remix and music videos without any other program besides Sony Vegas and Melodyne. So enough waffle, I'm just going to get straight into this one. So here I have got... Um, I've got a Sparta remix in the works. Um, the chorus and percussion are all done. I've just finished it and now I'm doing the pictures. The pictures are normally the last thing I do when I make a Sparta remix. Normally I do the percussion and chorus first, like the chorus first, then the percussion, then the pictures. But, um, so I've got a pitch sample here. Um, it sounds rubbish, but that's um, this is where the master of the tutorial comes in. So this sample, it's here. Um, it's going to be in this section, and I'm going to render it, and I'm going to call it. This is how I organise my pitch samples since I got my new laptop. I'm going to call it. Since this is a Doctor Who Sparta. I'm going to call it looks. Uh, I need to plug this. Uh, in fact, now I'm going to have to lean over to type, Anna. Oh, I didn't think this through. Right. So I'm going to call this looks one. No. Sample one. And bear with me. So I've rendered the sample with audio only and then I'm going to put this in my um, samples folder my samples folder is there no there there samples so I'll put it in samples and then now I open Melodyne 5 I use Melodyne 5 that I've always used I paid my hard-earned money for it, and people would say, why don't you just get it for free with the leaking stuff? Um, I couldn't be bothered. So, will the program open, please? Right, so Melodyne 5 is here. Melody so this is just the essential version. I don't have any fancy versions. I've just got the basic, normal version of Melodyne. Um, so... Now I go into samples and I type looks. Oh, I keep I keep using this keyboard that's in front of me, but it's not this keyboard. It's this keyboard. Looks. Looks sample one. So now I drop the pitch into here. So this is my sample. Will it play? No but I don't need it to play. Sometimes, Melodyne does this. It's when I've got my AirPods in my ears. It, it doesn't like play the... Anyway, so let's stretch it out. And what remix note is this bass? It is D, isn't it? So I put the original sample to D, put it in the middle with 100% on each. So you're thinking, why have you got that gigantic curve? Well, we're not done yet. That's why we're not done yet. So I'm going to uh, export this and I'm going to call this one. Keyboard's down here. I'm going to call this one Lux One. So now I delete. I delete that one. And where my folder is, let me get rid of my other folders just to make this easier for myself. Uh, so this is looks sam. So this is looks one what I've just rendered. So I put this in, and yeah, we've still got a curve. So let's go on to here, center, and then notice what happens now when I do the drift. So the drift curves up more the second time. So basically, I just keep doing this process until I've got a flat line in the middle. So, 
These are from the Apoplexy collab part. As you can see what how I number them. So this'll be this'll be Lux 1.0. So this is Lux 1.0. So delete Lux 1, get rid of Lux 1, and then I go back into my folder and I get now Lux 1.0. So 1.0 is here, and watch again. Center, drift, and watch the drift this time. Right, so the drift hasn't changed much this time. But the line is in the middle, the pitch is in the middle. So we go, so we do the same again. This time I'm going to call it. Looks one point. Oh, that's a comma, point. One. And now this is where I test things. So I delete that and I put Lux 1.1 into Melodam. So when I put it in, it's put it in smack dab in middle. And when I click that button there, pitch center, it doesn't move. Pitch drift, it barely changes. So now that the center of the pitch isn't changing and the line isn't changing much, it's done. So that's that's how I know that the sample is ready to use. So I close this and I press discard. Get rid of it. Get rid of this Melodyne document. Oh, here's the other Melodyne I opened. I don't need that. So now I delete the original. So, so that's what it sounded like. So I delete that. And then I drop into Vegas, looks 1.1, the height, like the, the finished one. So I'll put this one in. So now let's hear what it sounds like. You see how different it sounds from how it sounded before. It sounds so much better, doesn't it? So I've got... I've got a lot of um I've got a lot of space to play with there. Uh yeah, my desktop audio is recording. Well, you can tell what I got inspiration for this remix I'm making of. I've been listening to this for about five days straight. Um so yeah, it's it's inspired me to use the Madhouse XYE bass. So yeah, this remix I'm making will come. So now this is the last bit of the tutorial. How do I shift my pitch? So I just use the pitch shift plugin in Vegas. I'm a bit of a boring sod like that. Um, so let's get on the bass. So the bit this, this is the part of the bass that I'm uh, doing the pitch to. So it's going to be that sample, right? So. I want to loop just this note. So now I get my pitch. And I'm going to trim the start of that. So, so this is at the wrong octave. It's too high. That's too high, so now I'm going to drag this. That's still too high. So I'm going to go to minus 24. There we go, that's perfect. So now we're at the right note of this particular sample. So basically, minus 12 is down one octave, 24 is two, 36 is three, 48 is four, you know. So if I'm making a bass sample, Let's see how it sounds. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, this isn't a very good bass sample. But I wasn't planning on this being a bass sample anyway. I'm going to be having this as... So, here we go. So now... Just go through each bit note by note. Uh, I'm gonna have to lean over. So I copy and paste. 
Uh, don't worry about the visual for now. The visuals I won't be doing until I've done all the audio. So, let's listen. There. So that's correct now. Now I drag this along again, and I keep doing the same process until... Well, this is exactly the same as the first one, so I can just... Uh, control V. Can paste that one in. This will be correct. Yeah, so that's that's right. So let's move that along. So, so now I'm just pretty much listening to it by ear and just matching the pattern to the bass. Let's turn it up a bit, the bass is louder than... Now, between 12, I'll put it on preserved duration so that it doesn't sound slow or fast. In fact, I don't even need to reach for the keyboard, do I? I can just do this. clicky because I haven't done the fades. Oh, why is that? Okay. I am now concentrating. I know this method is a lot slower, but I think it sounds great. My channel, I can do what I want. This is the exact same. I'll just copy the same note from earlier. Right. Fast the note. Mm. Sometimes I hum to myself to try and get the note right. Mm. There. This is a bit slower. I would normally use my keyboard, Control C, Control V, but I can't be bothered to lean down every single time. Um, I want to... Basically, my laptop's on the floor. My equipment's on my desk. My laptop's on the floor with everything plugged So, I don't really want to be leaning down. I'm not going to bore you to death. So, 
This is what the pattern sounds like with the bass. And I'll turn the BGM on. So now to make this pitch sound a bit more angelic, I suppose, like the bass, I will um, put a bit of reverb on it. And I will use bright corridor. I use bright corridor. So. so that's how I do my pictures. Most of the time I put reverb on them to give them a bit more depth. But I don't use a crazy amount of reverb like MPC or whoever. So, or Vi or whatever he goes by now. But obviously we're not done. There's still the clicking sound. So we don't want that clicking. So what I do to get rid of clicking in a Sparta Remix or any kind of music, YTPMV video, whatever, I would zoom in, stretch it out until you can't zoom in much anymore. So like this is, this is as far as I can go. So now I will do a fade like that and a fade like that, a fade in and out. It looks big, but obviously when you zoom out, it's microscopic. So now listen. So the clicking's a lot better now, isn't it? So the clicking's a lot better, but it's still kind of there. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I don't want it very big on this one because this is like how the note starts. So let's try again now. That's all right now, isn't it? The clicking's gone, but for the most part, it's very, very unnoticeable. You won't notice it. So yeah, that's how I make my pictures. That's how I make all my pictures. Um, and when I do bass samples, I crank the octave very far down and I see how it sounds, um, basically. Like crank it into the minus 20s or the minus 30s. Sometimes even minus 40s if I can get a sample to go that deep. But um, yeah, so this is, that's how I make pictures for my Sparta Remix uh, videos. So anyway... I hope you found this tutorial very useful for people who want to be a remixer and can't really be bothered to learn how to use FL Studio like me <laughs> or um, find it very confusing or want a simpler method to do your work. That's how I do it. So anyway, if you like this video, please leave it a like. If you want to subscribe to the second channel, please do. I will see you guys in the next video, most likely on either Lolsus or Matt's World. I'll see you guys later. Take care and goodbye. I did my outro without doing OBS. Oops!